And here we have what is without a doubt the worst computer Windows 8 will ever run on. Literally, it is not physically or technically rather possible to install Windows 8 on a worse computer than this. This is an Asus EPC 900 with 512 megabytes of DDR memory, a uh, 32 gigabyte SD card for a hard drive, and a 900 megahertz Celeron processor with PAE, which is why it is able to run Windows 8, which, as you can see, is successfully booting from the SD card. Very nifty. Uh, honestly, I was quite surprised with how well it ran and how fast it boots uh, right there. If, uh, if I was able to get a gigabyte of RAM in the system, I would probably consider using this as my daily driver. It is that good, much faster, in fact, than Windows 7 was, despite not having video drivers. So there you go, it loaded up the start screen. I'll just do a, a two-finger scroll up and down here, and it scrolls along the start screen pretty smooth. Uh, let's see here, lock it real quick and see the fancy lock screen. There we go. Click that and it goes away and I'm logged back in. Very cool. Go to the desktop here. There we are. Windows 8 Pro, build 9200. Bring up the charms bar. There we are. Settings. Uh, Wi-Fi works. Sound, to my knowledge, works. Now the hotkey... Oh my gosh, I'm just bumping the... Bumping the, uh tripod all over the place. Sound works, uh, to my knowledge, uh, sound and Wi-Fi work, hotkeys don't work, and you can't adjust the brightness, unfortunately, uh, and there are no video drivers, so you're stuck at stretched 800 by 600, but all in all, it's not that bad. Uh, start up Explorer. There we go. For some reason, Internet Explorer didn't get installed on here either, which is a bit odd, but I guess I could always install Chrome or something from a flash drive if I really wanted it. Uh, go to Computer here. It has installed, uh, there is 22.9 gigs free of 28.2 gigabytes, so about the same size as, uh, as Windows 7 was on here. And there it is, Windows 8 Pro, Intel Celeron Mobile 900 megahertz. 503 megabytes of usable RAM. Uh, so, yeah, there it is. Uh, let me bring up the... Let's see if I can get the task manager to come up here. I have not really used this at all. Uh, there we go, task manager. Maybe. Uh, Metro applications, if I go back to the start screen here, Metro applications do not work. The screen resolution is too low, and you can't fix that. That's just a problem with the laptop. It's too small. Uh, so there we go. Using, I'm just sitting here, and it's using about 49%, 50 of the CPU, and 84% of the memory. Go over to performance. I really like Windows 8's task manager. This is nice. Uh, and then as you can see, you know, moving windows around works pretty well, and the little transparency effect of the task bar works as well. All software went rendered, and that's probably what uses up so much CPU, which is down to 5% now that I've full screened that window. Huh. 418 out of 503 megs, 83% of my memory, so... woo doo 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 That's uh, quite a bit speed, 0.9 gigahertz. Oh boy, Windows is, Windows 8 is so modern it doesn't even register, uh, it doesn't even show it as megahertz anymore. Oh, yeah. So yes, there we have it. That's actually a, a lot less CPU activity than there was in Windows 7. So if, uh, if it was possible to get display drivers and if I had more RAM, I would definitely, I mean in a heartbeat, use it on this computer. But as a proof of concept, this just shows that uh, even on when computers that were by no stretch of the imagination designed to run it, Windows does indeed, oh my goodness, I just started rearranging things. Windows 8 does indeed work on really, really bad computers. Really, not, I mean, this is so far below the system requirements, it's not even funny. And uh, I'm, I'm just zipping around. I can, I can move my mouse around and I can open that start screen and close it again. And uh, no lag at all, just a little bit of a... Oops, there we go. 
but it's still not even lagging. That's uh, that's kind of funny. A friend of mine actually went to Best Buy and did that on one of the dual core Windows 8 computers they had there, and he managed to crash it. But uh, man, this isn't even lagging. Very impressive. Probably has something to do with the Class 10 SD card I'm running this off of. But yes, there you go. Windows 8 on an Asus EPC 900.